quick video. What should you do? Okay, here's a 2000 Prius air conditioning. Is the condenser leaking? No visual like you usually see with the older Prius, uh, but that doesn't mean it's not leaking. I didn't get information whether or not this Prius has been sitting without air conditioning for a long time or not. Uh, so I have to just go off of what I know and I was given no information. It had zero PSI. What's my first step I do? Well, right off the bat, I want to know if it's leaking before I go through. So I put one or two ounces of refrigerant in the system. That's very low on the refrigerant and the pressure switch does let the system come on and kick in. Uh, I don't have my tracer line product. I ran out of it and this is my backup dye. So I injected some dye in it. I also went around, I have both leak detectors on the system, the Stratus and the H10 looking for leaks. Uh, as for dyes, different manufacturers have different UV lies uh, wavelength spectrum. You have the 365 nanometer wavelength, which is in the UV. The human eye cannot see UV. When you're using UV lights and you see that purple light, that is not the light that actually makes the fluorescent fluoresce and glow. That's just for your convenience. They can actually filter that out and it could be completely invisible and you'd see nothing. So here is a, oh, Spectralite. This is a 12 watt UV. This is 395 uh, nanometer spectrum and you see it works really good. It works really good right there. You can see it coming in. And this is um, the OptiPolo Max. This is a 365. And you can see it works really good. A to B, you can actually see the Spectrum 395 glows better than the 365. But I will say my Optimax needs to get the battery charge. Uh, this is New Calgon. New Calgon doesn't make anything. They just rebrand something. This was their light. It just floods the area with a million, million LEDs. It does a good job. Then they also have dyes that are in the 400 nanometer ranger. So you'd use UV lights to make it bright shine its brightest at 400, which is very close to 395. So there's some overlap. It's not really exact so it would still work. And then there's 400 plus, which starts getting into the blue light of the UV spectrum. And you would have a light for that manufacturer's dye that glows its brightest at say the 400 plus nanometer uh, light wave spectrum. So one light doesn't do all, but one light will kind of work. But if you ever have one of those situations where the dye is really weak, and you're in a bright situation with a lot of sunlight coming in, if you have the wrong light, you may not see it. It may not be bright enough. If you had the correct light with the uh, correct spectrum of light, you would see it. 